Emma, you've been part of the series wind atmosphere before. Uh, the fact that that streak or that record is over and it's ended in this fashion, like, how do you get your head around it? Yeah, look, um, I think it's obviously disappointing the way we've gone out as a team. Um, in the in, in the two test matches, um, this is obviously not what we prepared for as a team, um, and it doesn't do ju justice to all the work that um, that we put in. Um, I think previous previous tours here to Australia, we've obviously had success, um, and I think a lot of a lot of things went our way. Um, a lot of good was done by the guys out there on the field, um, and it's quite hard to point to that. Um, if I look at the two test matches as a team, um, but yeah, quite, quite disappointing. And you, as a senior batter, do you, can you just keep putting it down to inexperience as a group? Why you can't get spend time out there and put big totals on board, or is it something more? I think, I think to be brutally honest, um, as a batting group, we just haven't been good enough. Um, I think that was the case in England as well. Um, we at the batting group, we were, we were showing up. I wasn't there in England, but watching from the sides. Um, we've come here to Australia as well, and you know they've asked the questions and we haven't had answers to them. I think in my, in my little experience of playing international cricket, playing in Australia, playing in England, um, and probably playing in India, those are the toughest places to, to, to tour. Um, and we went, we went to England, that was tough. We come here to Australia, that's been tough. Um, so I think there's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of questions and answers. Um, but we simply, we simply haven't been good enough. Well, I guess just going on from that, is it, do, you, do you look at the, the domestic system back home and, and the banners that it's producing, or, or it, does it go like much deeper like that, do you think? Uh, I guess. I mean, I've heard I've heard those arguments um, where people are looking at our domestic system, our domestic system back home, um, and if it really is equipping guys for for this level. Um, I'm sure the guys in the in the room, the inexperienced guys, will understand that you know it's a big jump. There's a big difference between franchise cricket um, and playing international cricket. Um, I mean, I can't really sit here and, and have a go at our system. I'm part of that system as well. So, I mean, that I'm not going to give, not going to give a, a brutal answer towards. Um, but I think the inexperience within the group that's really showing up. Um, yeah. Canberra, the two run outs obviously really seem back today. What was your kind of take on both of them? Did you think it was involved in those instances? Yeah, I was involved in both of them. So I guess I'm the common denominator there. Um, I don't want to put fault on anyone. Um, I don't want to put fault on myself either. But I think it probably it probably just shows a lack of clarity, um, the indecision between the guys batting out there. You know, um, it was a key period within the game. Um, a little bit of pressure. Kaya just come in. We just lost lost a wicket. You know, and you really wanted to to regain that control back on things there, um, and we didn't do that. And then Keshav's won again. You know, um, knew within the innings we were trying to build something. Situation like that happened. Um, yeah, so I would put it to that: that indecision, lack of clarity, um, and cohesion between the guys batting. Tendra, that's two pretty bad pieces of the two tests. I mean, with one to go, how do you muster the character within the group to front up again, and then you confident that there is enough character in the group to show something in the last? I definitely think there's still a lot for us to play for um, within the series. Um, like I said, you know, um, the Australian team, they've asked questions. They're probably going to ask those same questions again with the bat and with the ball. And as a group, batting and bowling, we're going to have to find solutions to, to those questions. Um, international cricket's a brutal, brutal sport. Um, and a lot, of us, a lot of us are learning that. And I think it's not a matter of shying away from what is in front of us. We're going to have to face it head on um, and find a way, not just for now, but for, for, for going forward. So, I mean, you can look at it personally, you, look at it, you can look at it from a team's perspective, but I mean, there's a lot for us to, to play for. Um, there's a lot for us to, to still achieve and go back home with, 
but something to, to kind of smile about, if I could say. And Mitchell Stark said that if uh, the room keeps backing up too far, you will eventually run him out at the other end. Does the team have a policy about around that and, and any thoughts generally, their position generally, as it was pretty sad for about the um, okay. Well, I mean, the guys know that now it's not, it's not it's not frowned upon, if I could say that. It's within, it's within the rules. Um, and the batters know if you're stealing ground or if you're not in your crease, there's a chance of you getting run out. So I guess the fault, I would say, is more on, on us as the batters. Um, yeah, we need to be a lot more, a lot more cleaner with that, yeah. Uh, Deba, I know you're not a selector, but the fact that it's a, it's a batting group that is struggling and you keep going into test matches with just five specialist batters. Does that, does that put a lot more pressure on you? And would you almost prefer having a, another batter just to show it up? That's definitely something that the guys can consider. Um, selectors um, and those guys who are involved within that group. Um, I, think, I think on this wicket, to be honest with you, going with maybe just three seamers and a spinner um, would be tough, would have been tough. Maybe at Gabba, yes. But I mean, no one would have really expected that wicket to play the way that it did. Um, I think, you know, looking at teams in the past, you know, when I joined the the, um, the protest, the test team, they generally went with three three seamers. Um, there was a spinner, and then there was a guy who could come in and bowl maybe ten overs in the day. We unfortunately don't don't have that. Um, but it would be nice, yes, to have an extra an extra batter. I mean, the batting does look a bit thin. I mean, that's the that's something that's obvious. Um, but it's the makeup of the team. How do you put a, how do you put that together with the guys that you have here in Australia at the moment? Yeah, I think I think the team, that's what it needs, that's what our batting group needs. Um, the 60s or 70s are, I guess they're good for that moment, but in the bigger scheme of things, they don't, they don't change um, the outcome of the game. Um, I've obviously been guilty of that um, in, my, in my test career. And I mean, that's something that I'd really, really like to, like to change, not just for myself, but also for the team. Um, but yeah. Like I said, that's something that the team needs, two guys to, to go out there and, and score big hundreds um, and really give something the bowlers to, to rally behind. Is there anything you can identify in terms of improvement? Something that I can identify, um, if I look at my dismissal today, um, probably a brain fart, if I could say. Um, then I think, I mean, if I was probably betting with the better, I probably wouldn't have played that shot, to be honest with you, with all due respect to KG and the guys who came after them. Um, and I guess it's that, I guess that method, being able to carry on with it um, for, for, for periods and sessions of the game, um, I think that's probably my, my biggest challenge, um, is just to keep, just to keep betting um, and see how long I can go out there. Um, we need the partnerships. You know, um, today I think we had one partnership of, of significance, if I could say, um, and that will obviously help the cause with all the other batters in terms of putting up big scores um, for the team. Does it feel like a low point? It's disappointing. Um, I think the talk around the conditions, for me, it's, it's, just, it's more a matter of stating the obvious, um, but then the team that wins is the team that adapts um, the better um, in, those comp in, those, in those conditions. And we simply, haven't, we simply haven't done that. So, I mean, it's not, a, at least from my side, it's not a matter of throwing blame at the conditions and saying the reason why the batters or the bowlers are not doing this is because of conditions. Um, 
it's a matter of us just not simply adapting. Um, in terms of it being a low point, I mean, I wouldn't go to, to, that, to that extreme. Um, but it is disappointing the way that we've, we've, um, we've played as a team. Um, but I mean, there's still Sydney, there's still a lot for us to, to play for.